Just a uh, oh. an FYI. Mm-hmm. <laughs> YouTube, make sure everything's looking good, and then I'll post in the Twitter and Discord. Right on. I had like 500 people join today. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Isn't that crazy? That's great. Get shareable link. All right. Just tweeted, and I tagged you. Oh, nice. Live now at every dude. There's someone with like E V E R Y as part of their Discord name, and so usually I would just like type the beginning of everyone and then hit enter, and it like tags everyone. But now if I just hit enter, it like tags just that one person. <laughs> so I have to type out the whole thing. That's funny. So soul looks pretty. Pretty nice. So right. Like, it even, protects... even if you're not messing around to get past like geographic restrictions, VPN's a good idea, generally speaking. Uh okay, I think it's <laughs> it's not my Wi Fi guys, relax. Uh let's fix your Wi Fi. <laughs> Upgrade your internet. <laughs> One sec. I also had somebody who just pinged me and said that I am echoing. I think I think it's better now. It had uh... the internet. Well. It like I think it took a little a second to re re uh, whatever it's called. Why am I? I think you got a. I think you got a. To- you got People oh. are saying that we're echoing, so you gotta. Okay, I think I fixed that. Man, the live produce, man. I know. I I get nervous. I hate live producing. It's the worst. Okay, I think I think the audio should be better now. Oh, I sound like a ro- I think I had two audio output captures and so Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, that happens to me too. Sometimes. I'm like five by Q. And the video's good now, guys. It sounds like people are saying everyone in the chat is saying like good, good, yes, good, yeah. whatever. Move your move your screen around. I wanna see. Cause like I haven't seen have you done anything? I assume you haven't. Um, only a little bit. It'll take a sec now though, because people are kinda behind, but I'm like slowly Scrolling okay. back. Yeah, yeah, I got you. My first nice. ever cause video. Welcome in. Video's good, all good. Okay, we're cool now. Yeah, I think. Travel uh, bug. Huh? Oh, travel yeah, bug. So, yeah, I, travel bug saying first one ever. It's pretty sweet. I drop some frames whenever I uh, am have my VPN on or whatever to protect my IP address. Okay. Yeah, you should. <laughs> So, real quick before we get started, as usual, shout out Trader Joe, my preferred, well, and the best kind of hands down swap on Avalanche. We all love Trader Easily. Joe. Shout Easily. out Bybit, my preferred derivatives ex- uh, trading platform for Bitcoin and Ethereum specifically. They're adding more and more pairs. They still don't have some stuff, but for Bitcoin and Ethereum, it works great. And shout out Magic Eden. So, if you guys want to support with through any of those, um, places you can do so link in the description um, and with that out of the way welcome Jared to the stream once again JM plus EV on Twitter um, what's up we always seem to stream on very important days in the market I remember we streamed on if I have my Bitcoin chart up September 28th, which was literally the bottom at 40K before we proceeded to go vertical for two weeks. That's right. And there was another one. I don't remember, though. It was definitely, yeah, it was like late September, and then it was uh, October 20th because that was like the first day. Maybe it was the 19th, but it was 
it was a day where it was like we're oh, definitely yeah. gonna break all time highs, that's and then we right, got rugged, right, and then right. it ended up happening again. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. That, was, that, was actually... that was good. We got our highest daily close that day, I think. But then we did. That's true. Get the all time high. So yeah, we always seem to uh, stream on very important days. So hopefully uh, we can do something special today, make everyone some money. Market looks pretty good to me across the board. I mean. Bitcoin is still kind of getting rejected around 63, but Ethereum, all-time high. Sol, I mean, it's pretty much at its all-time high. It's wicked the all-time high like four times now. Yep. Um, yep. But yeah, overall, the market the market looks pretty good. I think we are getting close to um, easy money mode where we just want to be sitting in a trade literally for like weeks. Like I think we yeah. could spend a lot of november just trending where you do not want to be managing your trade on a day-to-day basis like maybe moving up stops and things like that but i think taking profit like in the next couple days you could look at that at the end of november and be like how did i miss 75 percent of this move (laughs) the funny part is people are going to try to trade everything to catch everything and end up losing money because of it yes you know that so like if you guys are new to trading or this is one of the first or like 2020 whatever 2021 i guess now is like your first bull run over trading and spreading yourself too thin and then cutting stuff when it starts to pull back because you have too much exposure is like the number one way you can lose money in a bull market. <laughs> it's a it's a trading axiom. If you if you try to catch every move, uh, you will, and then moves meaning up and down. You know, like you just uh, try to catch everything. You you will. Like you're not holding winners. You're just chasing, getting yeah. washed out. And Crazy. I know that that is a uh, very common way of losing money because I've done it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I've had times where everything is just ripping and I'm like, all right, I need exposure to a bunch of different stuff and I'm entering a bunch of different trades overexposed and then things start to dip. Also, Bitcoin just wicked down like 600 bucks. So I told you it'd be an important day. <laughs> I know. That's actually a really nice retest on Bitcoin. It is. I'll, I'll take that. I'll also, take that all day. If anyone has this uh, chart up still, we were looking for the flip of the month or is looking at, I guess everyone kind of is looking at the screen. I guess I don't you know if you're looking at the screen, but I, do. I have it up. Yeah. This, uh, this 62.5 to 62.9 ish area, like you can see, mm-hmm. that's where we rejected one, two, three, four times is basically what we just retested. So, Bitcoin might have just put in a little local low here. And if you guys were in the last stream that I did, we talked about that uh, continuation, that range continuation trade that I like to take. Yep. And it's kind of looking, which is, I have that one tweet where I say, oh, that wick isn't on FTX. Okay, so maybe. Oh. All right. Well, that wick might end up getting filled <laughs> on other exchanges. Okay, yeah, you guys are right. It did kind of take out this low on other exchanges, though. But, yeah, the wick was only that big on Bybit. But regardless... 62.9? What did it get to on, on yours? On Bybit, 62.6. Yeah, got to 62.9 on the index. I only look at the index, which I trade on Bybit, but I only look at right. the index because... It gives you a little bit of everything, and then Wix like psychologically screw me up. No mm-hmm. joke. Yeah, I'm like, no. did we lose the level or did we not? Like, right. what just happened there? Yeah, you know, and, and so it's yeah. tricky. Um, oh, I do need a post in the Telegram. Thanks for the reminder. But regardless of that, this kind of setup where you form a range high, range low, sweep the high, sweep the low, and then flip the mid range, break back above the range high. That's like your continuation play in a bull market where you enter that stop loss here Mm -hmm. if you want to be more conservative and then you just ride that up for the next leg and maybe it does something like this and then does a similar range and breaks out of that and you kind of, that's kind of how I play a trending market. I'm sure like there are tons of other ways. 
Another way that I've played a trending market is like candle closes above important levels, but this like lower time frame um, continuation, range continuation can really help you make some money. Oh yeah. So. The thing is, it's actually a very easy thing to trade too. And for, for those of us who are into TA, you could almost overthink yourself out of taking those easy longs. Right. It can't be that easy. No, it actually is that easy in a trending bull market. It is that easy. <laughs> Dude, that's the funny thing too. Like a lot of times you like, it's like that psyops or whatever we say on Twitter mm -hmm. where something looks so obvious that it can't be true. But then, and sometimes that's the case. Like this, for instance, this weekly candle on Bitcoin two weeks ago, the super ugly one where we swept all-time highs. Yep. I'm pretty sure the majority of us on Twitter, maybe not the majority, I know a lot of us on Twitter were like, I don't buy this. This is probably just like tracking, trapping people. Scam. And we're going to go back up from here. <laughs> but in that, like, but in hindsight... If we nuked all the way back to 50, it would have been like, wow, that was the most obvious looking like short trigger on the weekly ever. Absolutely. So this sometimes things are so obvious that you think yeah. that it's like a trap. And then other times it's like so obvious that, I don't know, that kind of makes it tricky though, you know? Yeah, you, it's like uh, you get in your head about, you know, playing rock paper scissors right you're like he did rock i'm gonna do scissors well he always does rock so i'm gonna do paper but he knows i know he always does rock therefore he's gonna do paper so i should do scissors but he's not that smart so like you have <laughs> you you can play that game way too much if you get into this stuff where it's like you know just just take the lowest common denominator approach because like it, it we've talked about this before the view on technical analysis is to see and uh, take an action on what most people are looking at, right? right? So I see it all the time. People will send me charts to review. And if, you, if you're in my telegram and you say, hey, what do you think about this? I might generally say, well, show me what you think first before I tell you what I think. Yeah. Uh, to see how far off. And man, you see some crooked lines. Holy smokes. Where you're like, you just, are you just betting that because you want that to be there? Because like, there's nobody who would who would naturally draw that line there, right? You know, you take take the lowest uh, common denominator, the low hanging fruit, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It looks like we're getting raided by uh, Rect Proof, and uh, oh, so Rect Proof, thanks for the uh, shout out. Also, Trader RB, I see you in the chat. Thanks for being here. Um, for those that just joined, this voice that you're hearing right now is. Trader Cause and Jared is the get JM plus EV is the guest. Hello. I'll post his Twitter uh, in the chat so you guys can check him out if you enjoy the content. But yeah, sometimes something is just so obvious that you like talk yourself out of it, and vice Absolutely. versa. Like, which is that's why I kind of always just say I try to just follow what. The TA is saying for the most part, but then yeah. I don't know. You get those weird things like the Bitcoin Weekly. Usually, if it's obvious, I just trust that it's obvious. But there are a few times where I feel like you kind of have to go against it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I just I always come back to if you had to work and draw a thousand different lines to come to your thesis, and you had to work super hard to try to put it together, odds are. You're the only one who sees it, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like you're what are you doing? Also let's, let's yeah. <laughs> Hector in the chat is asking about the moon phases. So we should probably talk oh about God. that again. Just trolling me again. Put that up. Put that up was that dude, that was when <laughs> I know, and I hate it. <laughs> we got him. That was the funniest thing ever. Oh my Literally. gosh. And it's like kind of continued to be good. I know, man. Like this one on the 20th was basically the Bitcoin top. Like it missed this one. Or is it supposed to be... I don't know if one color is supposed to mark tops and the other color bottoms. But I you think know, like man. just the shift of moon phases seems to... Uh, 
I don't know. Because we're talking about this, I feel like everyone that the the hundred fifty people that just joined are gonna think we do TA based off of moon cycles. Um, yeah. <laughs> Somebody trolled me last time I was on, or the first time I was on, saying, "But Jared, it's the moon phase," and I said, "That's the dumbest thing ever." And I, I think the joke too is, <laughs> you know, the it's like being a fortune teller. If you came in to see me as a fortune teller. It'd be like, you like people. And you're like, I do like people. That's crazy. And it's like, <laughs> and you've been known to eat food two to three times a day. Oh my God, this is uncanny. I do eat food two to three times a day. Like, how do you know that? Sometimes you get thirsty, so you get a drink. Oh my God, you're blowing my mind. Take my money. Okay? Like, it's a moon phase. What are we talking about? Yeah. But... I mean, it might be one of those things where now everyone's looking at it, and it, <laughs> and it right. kind of works. Annie says, uh, "Full moon it should pump, and new moon it dumps." Is the is that is, how that goes? It, well, is the theory that that they have not necessarily Got like? Got it. That's how it's. But so I guess the dark one, dark one's full moon. So this new okay. moon did call the top for one day, but then. We continued. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be. So perfect. then we just ignore but that it part because it doesn't fit our thesis. But it is yeah, kind of funny, perfect. right? Yeah, yeah. Somebody said Marin makes money with that. I laugh heartily at that. Uh, and by the way, I think I told you this before. Marin blocked me on Twitter for like no reason. <laughs> oh, no. I, I responded one time to something. Like, actually, Kobe said something, and I think I agreed to it, and I got blocked. But like, you know. Marin doesn't block Kobe because, you know, Marin was made by Kobe, right? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> super, super funny. Again, it is what it is. I don't really care. Uh, it's it's like uh, somebody asked me about stock to flow model the other day. And, like, do you believe in that? And, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's played off. And it looks really, really good, right? Bro. Uh, <laughs> but, on. Are you reading the chat right now? <laughs> well, what does it say? No. Someone said, Mercury isn't in Gatorade, man. We're okay. And then everyone's like, Mercury in Gatorade? <laughs> they mean Mercury, Mercury in, in Retrograde? retrograde. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty great. There's, that's pretty there's better content in the chat than on the stream right now. I but, know. No. I know. The, really, the moon really phase stuff. is, it's kind of a meme, but it's also like kind of funny that it's actually worked a few times. So now it's like, who knows what to believe. Yeah, but so, so all I was going with like the uh, the stock to flow model and like the FA of Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff is like, yeah, it may work, but in my opinion, and you may, you know, this is a good question for you from a TA perspective. Mm -hmm. I personally feel like uh, TA takes into account all of those things. So it'll be encapsulated. If you saw a movie, you can look at indicators, you can look at level breakdowns. I don't need to know the stock to flow model. I don't need to know the moon face. Like I, I can see in reversals on the chart. So it's just, I, I, I always think to myself, what came first, right? The chicken or the egg. Right. But whatever. The answer is yes. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm sure I alienated half the people in the stream by talking about how like, oh, you like to eat food. I do like to eat food, but you know, yeah. that's how I... I mean, Think about that and since Mercury is in Gatorade right now, like we're oh my God. we're in trouble. <laughs> I like anyway. good Gatorade. You know, you know what's a low key really good Gatorade flavor? What's a good Gatorade flavor? Cool blue, green apple, oh. green apple. No joke. I'm like only a I, cool blue guy. Well, that's generally how I am too. One time I was like, I'll try green apple. Shockingly good. Wow. Shockingly All right. I'll have to yeah. go. I'll have to go try it. Yeah. Trader RB says the main difference between TA and astrology is that astrology pays better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably oh, look at a few charts because we're 17 minutes into this and we're kind of just talking about Gatorade and moon phases. That's true. That's so true. <clears throat> last stream was on Tuesday of last week. Um, and basically the main play that we were kind of talking about um, – or at least that I've been talking about on Twitter and Discord, was we flip the monthly open and you're going to want to get long. Um, we had a little bounce to start the month. And also, I took quite a bit of risk off the table when we had the new month. Like it was a Monday, first day of November. Usually I don't like to trade the beginning of the week, let alone when the beginning of the week lines up with the beginning mm -hmm. of the month. Um, mm -hmm. So I wanted to kind of get some risk off the table. Uh, we Pumped a little bit to start the month. Then we had this dip. 
got bought back up super fast, big old rip from 59K to 62K. Um, and that was kind of the, all right, the low of the month might be in. And if it is, like it's gonna be an insanely bullish month because that happened on hour three of the new monthly candle. Um, we dipped below the monthly open once again, but then held this range low support, give or take. I mean, you could look at this area, but overall 60K has been pretty pivotal minus a few um, moves above and below. And then from there, consolidated in between the monthly open and 60.6 flipped it today or yesterday and kind of just ripped since then but bitcoin has just been having so much trouble it seems with this 63.5k level so yep. it, it is the highest daily close well was it's no longer that now I, I shouldn't even call it that i should just have it as like sr i don't need to call it anything um but yeah, we're we're definitely having some trouble getting back above that level. Um, initially, we had this break above it, super explosive move. We tapped 67k. We all thought, myself included, that we were just gonna rip up to like 70 in a couple days. But turns out that move was a little bit of a fake out. And we broke back down below this SR line and you can see like how well it's been respected over and over again. Um, and since breaking back down on October 21st, we have rejected from it three times. So if I cleaned mm -hmm. my chart up a little bit, we could get a really nice looking, this one is more messy. Hold on, let me hide this indicator and then we'll have a little bit of a clean chart. We could get a really nice range, basically. Yeah. And you can see mid-range is being respected really well. Mm -hmm. And took out the range lows. Had this wick to kind of stop any anyone out that got long there, which was probably successful. Um, equal highs, we just grabbed those. But I, I can't remember, Jared, you might have been saying this on one of your streams. I mean... I've heard other people say it before. I think it's like kind of some slept on alpha <laughs> moon cycles. Is this Marin's channel? Keep your clothes on, please. <laughs> uh, you can't see up, us. Trade it doesn't devils? matter if I have my clothes on. Or not. You know, I guess it's... <laughs> what's up, Sean? I see you with the serious real estate. Um, but a failed bearish pattern is oftentimes a incredibly bullish pattern. Um, right. And I think... You might have said that on your last stream. I don't remember. You I said that all the time. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and like people don't talk about that enough, you know? Nope. Like here, we had this move below the range low and then we kind of ripped and held the range low. But if we would have broken back down, then it was like, all right, this is kind of invalidated. And now it's going back down that direction. So with where we are at right now, we just had this spike up to 64.5 took out these equal highs right here, the range highs, whatever you want to call them. As soon, like we can do whatever we want, maybe we consolidate here for a little bit. But then as soon as we get back above that level, I was like, all right, this bearish setup is invalidated. And now I'm looking for more upside. So I think a yeah. flip of 63.8 is kind of the most actionable setup right now. 100%. Um, it might come back down to like 62 or just consolidate in here for a while. And that's completely fine. Yep. Like just be patient. Um, if it does range between 61.5 and 63.5, whatever, give or take, these are rough estimates. But as sure. soon as we break above that level, then you're probably going to want Bitcoin long exposure. Absolutely. Um, I mean, you probably already do, but I think like that's, that's a leverage trade that I would be interested in in taking um so that's i mean that's kind of the main idea on bitcoin if it comes back down to the monthly open though and kind of the origin of this pump like i don't think that would be a bad opportunity to get in either and then you can right. kind of add um as that sr level is flipped i don't know if you have anything else to add with bitcoin no i, also, I, I uh, think that's right up your screen later but yeah go for yeah, it yeah yeah i think you have it uh, yeah, Jameson in the chat. You have to hear talk about ETH BTC. That's yeah. where I'm going to go on this. But uh, I don't know if you have it handy, but if you pull up ETH BTC, uh, you have like a similar thing going on right now. 
on like the daily or uh, the I have the twelve hour sitting up. Okay, let me pull up the twelve. And I don't know what's usually when we've done screen sharing, yours looks kind of blurry. But if you want to send me like a specific chart, I can pull that up. Like if you DM it to me on Discord, and then I can just so we on can kind of oh, guys, yep. or Telegram. Telegram works too. Just <laughs> not like text because. Yeah, I can text you. Just pull it through on your phone. That'd be great. <laughs> if I was on my uh, MacBook, then it would work fine. True enough. You can just you can just drop it in there. All right, I send it to you. Okay. Oh shoot! Hold on, don't post that one. Oh yeah, give me the link. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? I know. But yes, the the ETH BTC is the uh, is the real alpha. Someone's wondering if you have a different mic. I have a new mic. I don't know. They said your voice sounds, sounds different. Good. I don't know. I mean, I've seen, uh, I've seen, I don't know. Say this guy's name, Mousy, in here before. I think he's been in mine too. And that's not different. I'm, I'm maybe sitting a little bit further back, and I'm not like hyped to the nines right now. Uh, Although but it should be. So I know. I know. It's weird though. It's <laughs> yeah, weird, dude. The, we could see three hundred dollars sold this weekend. I think we might. And I know, mm-hmm. like, people probably think I'm crazy to say that, but. I don't think it's completely out of the question to see like a like a three hundred dollar soul in the next seven yeah. days. But no. Anyway, I if, have your. If you let me hide. So yeah, ahead. I see it. I, I see it up there now. If you if you think that going from two fifteen to three hundred dollars in soul in a weekend isn't a possibility, <laughs> let me tell you about how we went from sixty five dollars to two hundred and twenty dollars in uh, seven days. Okay. Just or a yeah, more, little more than that. Hold on, when was the last time you could have got it? So on August 26th, the low that day was $66. And on September 9th, it was 216 So let's all remember that when Sam decides to rip, uh, it rips. Okay? So yes, absolutely could be crazy. Um, but you have your the my chart up on the screen there. And I do, yep. Um, by the way, people are saying that I'm wreck proof. I am not wreck proof. Uh, wreck proof is Jared. the homie, though. Yeah, for sure. And I know he, he stream shared into it, but um, he, or, uh, uh, rated, he shouted but, out the cool. stream. But yes, nice. he's not on the stream right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so you see my level there at 0.0711. Um, and really, the next like big level to me is at 0.075. So if we sustain this breakout, and if you see going back to like September, uh, September 26th, where my lower high mark is, that was like the start of October, uh, you got a couple of those little rejection points, and now we're back to it, right? Right. So, so okay, I get, I kind of get what you're saying. So we got these yeah. highs right here, this high, this high. Then we had this one, and it's like if we can flip that level, that's your, uh, that's your plus EV play on ETC. That's right. Which, the reason why I'm bringing that up is, and now I'm just seeing your drawing since we're a few moments behind, um, that w- us moving from 0.071 to 0.075 probably falls in line with your BTC pr- uh, prediction because we're going to reject one of these pivots and just kind of move sideways. It could go all the way to 0.078, but I-, I don't think it will just like in a straight line. So I would, I would see that as like maybe Ethereum improves uh, versus Bitcoin up to one of these levels and kind of consolidates. And that's when you would see, you know, Bitcoin pull back and then eventually break that level um, and and move up again. And then you would just kind of see a stair-stepping pattern. But I am uh, so much more bullish on Ethereum right now than Bitcoin. It's It's ridiculous, like absolutely ridiculous. And it's really impressive, like how well Ethereum has held up. Like, dude, if you asked all of crypto twitter at the beginning mm-hmm. of october like 99 percent of people would have said that ethereum and all the alts are probably going to get wrecked or like will lag and bitcoin's going to go on a run right and that's right that's that's because that's how we've seen it every single other time that bitcoin goes on a run so it's like we had reason to believe that was the case But yeah, it was just a really, we kind of could be seeing live in front of our eyes, a little bit of a shift in how this market behaves. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, th I think so too. And a long, long time ago on one of my streams, back when I first started doing it, so it's probably like a year ago, I went through and talked about just if you compare, if you go to daily or three day or even weekly chart of Bitcoin and then look at Ethereum going back to the, the absolute drop in March of 20, um, Ethereum is so much more clean. It holds its levels that are important so much better. Not ETH BTC, and, right? ETH itself. It, ETH itself, ETH USD. Yeah. No, um, it, it holds been. its levels so well. It's unbelievable. And so the, I posit the question, or I bring that up to say, it is entirely possible that this entire run in crypto is, yes, partially fueled by us printing money. But I think <laughs> it's probably uh, has more to do with Ethereum and DeFi and what's happening on chain and what's being created to just created to disrupt traditional financial markets than it does um, with with just, you know, we're printing money, so number must go up. Like, look at that. It, it's just so constructive. How many major levels were lost along the way from the bottom in March of 20 on Ethereum? Zero. How many? Zero. Okay. Yeah. Including, no, was... including the drop ETH, <laughs> from May. ETH BTC was super, I mean, sorry, Ethereum was super clean. Like, here's your obvious level right there that we flipped. I guess I drew that a little off, but at like 250, mm -hmm. those highs, this one, you can make an argument for this one. And then this like entire consolidation, whatever you want to call it, was held when we consolidated for three months between May, like May, June, July. And yeah, now we're kind of still moving, you know? So, so I would, in, in, you know, Bitcoin maxis losing their minds everywhere, but with, I will with say, good reason. With, <laughs> and they should, but even again, look at, I mean, you're doing it right now. So your, your, your drawings are catching up to, uh, okay. on stream, what I heard in live, but yeah, yeah. the rinse out from May where, uh, Bitcoin dropped 50%, whatever mm -hmm. versus what Wait, Ethereum May? did. Mar oh, like, no, yeah, for May, May of this, this year. May. This May. Okay, yeah. This yeah. May. Mm -hmm. Where, like, Ethereum had this massive pullback and, like, or, I'm sorry, where Bitcoin had this massive pullback and lost a bunch of key levels. Like, Ethereum really didn't. Ethereum held its last key level that it broke out before that pop, where Bitcoin didn't. So, uh, to all you Bitcoin maxis in the room, uh, you are riding the coattails of Ethereum. You've been riding the coattails of Ethereum since March of 20, and you'll ride the coattails of Ethereum through the end of this bull run. Come at me. Mic drop. Yeah. Seriously. No, it's, Tell it's, me I'm wrong. it's pretty crazy. <laughs> and I mean, which like everyone should be happy to hear because when Ethereum is leading the way, other altcoins are doing better. And That's there's right. more opportunity for you to make money. Yeah. So it's great, man. It's throw a dart and hit season. Right. Yeah. You know, like it's. It's way better than if it was Bitcoin rips while everything chills season. Because, yes, like everyone is super, like crypto Twitter gets so quiet when, <laughs> when it's just Bitcoin ripping because everyone's like, oh man, like I'm making no money right now. Because, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> because it's just oh. Bitcoin. <laughs> My alts are dying. What is happening? You know, so yeah, I'm I'm like an eternal Ethereum maxi. I own like 20% of my portfolios in Bitcoin right now and everything else is in Ethereum or alts. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't think it's worth, I mean, if look here, if what we talked about that 0.075 or whatever, you don't have to pull it up. But if, if the, if the mm -hmm. 0.075 rejects, I'll switch back to Bitcoin because I'll, I'll take a trade where Bitcoin improves versus Ethereum so I can buy more Ethereum when that time comes. Right. It's the whole ETH BTC trading strategy I talk about all the time. Right. And I mean, so this this doesn't mean sell all. I mean, to each their own. But someone in the chat, King, said sell all Bitcoin, and I like don't fully agree with that. Like I, no, no, no. Bitcoin, I still hold Bitcoin. <laughs> like market conditions are different, but Bitcoin is still the leader. I mean, in a in a way, I guess like Ethereum's kind of been pulling it up so to speak but like Ethereum's been driving price action and been right. holding the levels needed to not crack the market entirely so it's kind of been doing the heavier lifting but yeah the worldwide 
uh, known crypto is Bitcoin, right? right. It's not yeah. Ethereum. That, but I think that's going to change. And I think, like I've said to you before, I think 0.016 or 0.16, 0.18 Ethereum is where we're going to end this thing and not before long, right? Like right. probably Ethereum outgains Bitcoin two to one, if not more, over the next four or five months. <laughs> JP is 80% in SAMO. <laughs> I do love SAMO. We do like SAMO. It's Samo. a great play. Now's a, a, now's a play. good time to buy SAMO, to be honest, if you're uh, if you're not in SAMO. Where can I chart it? Like, where can I get an actual chart? Is it, mm, is it on ChartX? Or? It's not on ChartX. I honestly, I don't really look that often because I just go to CoinGecko and see what it is. Right, I know there's that, a place you can do it because people have done. I think I think you can actually trade it on. Uh, that just the, shows me the line chart. Is it like Coin Market Man or something that has charts? It might be Coin yeah, Market yeah, Cap. Coin, Coin Market Cap. You can change the the charts on CoinGecko. That'd I be our charts. Change it to a. Hold on, Samo. Uh, trading View. Oh, here we go. Oh no, yeah. it has a little X. Invalid symbol. Whatever. Let me let me pull up the coin gecko. So if this was a uh, oh, so you can't you can turn it into a bar or, jeez, these look like some. It almost looks better uh, linear orange chart. because. Yeah. Uh, so if this was oh, like yeah. any coin right now, this is the level you want to see hold. That's right. And we are sitting, like, right in it. I mean, this is the high, and it should be showing up for you in a sec, Jared. But yep, this is it. the time where where you would want to be buying Samo. I mean, like if right. if you want, if you care about meme coins, if you think a Solana dog coin is gonna do well, like it is sitting at the spot where for sure that would happen. For sure, I I think. Here's my thesis on Samo. I've talked let's, to you about it. Let's hear the Samo thesis. The, the, the Samo thesis is this. Um, if Samo... Okay, let's take a step back. If Soul does what we all think it's going to do, Just which is take... A thousand bucks. Yeah. Well, yeah. A thousand, I don't know. But pretty squarely into the hey, third spot, right? A 5x... Puts, yeah, where does that put it from a uh, puts it at, perspective? at about three hundred. Yeah, it's, I mean it's very three hundred billion, which is which is still like it'd be a little over half of Ethereum right now, and about like a quarter of Bitcoin. Yeah, so look, which, like, it do, sounds that's, crazy. That's not that but ridiculous. If, no, but if any coin is going to do it, yeah, it's going to be sold. it's going to be Solana. No also, doubt. Avalanche outside the top ten is blasphemy <laughs> i can't believe that how is luna that high it's because we have three meme coins in the top 10 doge sure enough. shiba and xrp yeah yeah <laughs> so uh, it's just it's blasting yeah. it out but but yeah so let's go, say solana go does what it's gonna do yeah solana is gonna gonna do its thing and i i think it'll I think CZ is going to artificially inflate BNB and try to hold up Solana as long as he can. So BNB probably not a bad trade, uh, but I, I think that Solana will take its place as number three and continue driving uh, hard for a while. Look at all the money this guy's spending. Look at all the sponsorships he's pulling into FTX. Everybody knows Solana is essentially Sam Chain. Um, and, and so there's so many reasons for it to happen. Samo isn't listed anywhere, okay? Like, the reason why Shiba got to where it is is it was listed on Coinbase, right? Listed a bunch of other places, too. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling it up right now. You don't have to do it. But, you know, it's listed on uh, Binance, on Coinbase, you know, OKEx, eToro, whatever it is. There's all these places. It's listed everywhere, man. It's listed absolutely everywhere. And she, I'm sorry, Samo is listed nowhere, okay? Right. It's listed, it just got listed on gate.io and it made an incredible run to like 117th overall market cap. So I'm just saying right, it that got Samo to like is a great long. mil, right? I think we're at yeah, 270 mil market cap right now, but yeah. Absolutely. So again, keep that in mind. 270 mil versus Shiba, which is 38 billion right now. 
Right. So, yeah, no, so let me sorry. paint a picture for you where where Solana gets to where it is, and then it's listed on FTX because Sam is gonna list it. I guarantee you he will. Like it's I guarantee good, you he will. It's good for Sam if Samoyed Coin moons like ju- well not, like just pumps hard. Like let's absolutely because it's let's it's say going to 50, bring you know attention right right. And so it's in his best interest, and he owns the exchange. And Blockfolio, like, does Blockfolio list stuff? I know they're, like, worth That's a good question. Days, but anyway, yeah. like, yeah. He's in charge of FTX. This will help Seoul, which in turn will help him. So it, like, just yeah. makes sense. So why wouldn't from he? He also cents, followed them on Twitter the other day, like, okay, last yeah. week. He it's followed them on Twitter. I'll buy more. Absolutely. <laughs> There's all the signs are there. Now, what I will say, I will not guarantee that it happens soon. Right. Okay. It doesn't need to be. But it's one of those things where, like, what you just did, you draw key levels, draw mm-hmm. that key level. If this one breaks down, what's the key level before that? And you just add your bag because eventually you'll be one of those guys on Twitter who's like, hey, this guy bought $8,000 worth of Samo uh, in November of 2021. It's now July of 22, and this guy just made five billion dollars, right? Like that last guy for Shiva. You know what I mean? So, like, that's the that's the point that I'm saying here. It's a bag that has high probability of doing some crazy stuff upside. Right. I agree. So I'm not saying like let's load in 80 percent of our portfolios, but if you're looking to throw some uh, some stuff on, that's where I would do it. If you want to take a shot at a uh, meme coin, yeah, yeah, not and I think it'll hold this level anyway. So like, yeah, this consolidation between like seven and nine cents where we're at right now, and then mm-hmm. below that, I would probably say this four to five cent consol like. This would be demand if I was looking at it, a daily like a, a bar chart. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, that's kind of the play. But while we were talking, I pulled up the BNB chart and like, why have I not been looking at this more? Because I'm telling you, this it looks clean. And yeah, if I don't know if it'll be like quite yet, um, but I think if Soul keeps pushing and keeps getting closer. CZ, like he's not going to go down without a fight. Absolutely. Like Sam bought CZ out of his equity in FTX. Right. Okay. You think there's not a rivalry between those guys? Yeah. Friendly. Like they're not, you know, they're not yeah. sending hackers they'll, and shit uh, at each other. They'll both probably be in the top five richest people in the world one day. Easily. I mean, I, I bet CZ is already there. What what his disclosed wealth is versus real wealth, I think, right. are two very different things. Yeah, no, you can um, be right. But but yeah, I would not I would not bet against that one iota. So yeah, it's been a it's been a super cool uh, thing to watch Seoul. But anybody who thinks that Solana's already petered out, like just again, go look at August twenty sixth to September 9th, no, where for f- fifteen days. It went up 4x. That was crazy. Yeah. That was so much fun. It was so much fun, dude. And It was a buy every dip. Right. And I'm not calling for a... Uh, I'm not calling for a soul 4x in 14 days. But I think <laughs> we could see a soul 2x in 14 days. Easily. Yeah. Seven. It's not like people don't... Ref- don't it's not like people forgot... No, um, you know what it did. So if it starts pumping again, you think people are going to not try to get in? They will. <laughs> oh, they will. Absolutely. So, yeah, that's why uh, Samo Samo is a. It's the it's the sole meme coin that I'm playing. Some people have been talking yeah. about Wolf. I don't know. Uh, um. I don't know a ton about Wolf, Jared. I don't know if you do. Neither do I. Okay. No, I don't. I um, don't. Whoever, I can't remember who said it. Um, but if if anyone wants to write up a sentence about like why Wolf, or like what, what what do you think sets them apart from Samo, then I will uh, be happy to read it. Right. Hundred percent. Um, let's see. But yeah, I mean, BNB could be a good. Uh, good thing to keep an eye on as that it's a great trade race heats up if that if that uh resistance level breaks down which is very clear if you just look at it 
on BNB. It's going to rip. Yeah, it's going to rip straight to six hundred and fifty dollars or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I forget where it is. I don't have it in front of me, but it'll go pretty much. Yeah, with haste to six thirty. Right. right. And we already kind of did it, so we're in process right now. I think you're going to yeah. see an eighty dollars on on BNB like imminently. Flipping that five ten to five twenty level was kind of the mm-hmm. uh, the important thing. Exactly right. You got it. So um, it's, a few uh, people have asked for a Discord invite link, so I'm gonna post one of those. Ah, uh, look how nice you are, man. <laughs> you know, it's the it's the people in the streams who deserve to be in the Discord. I agree. I agree. You start start giving it out willy nilly, and that's just not cool. Right. So I'm gonna make this one expire in an hour. So if you're in the stream, you should see it. People watching later. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make it expi- If someone watches later and is reading the chat, I think they. Uh, yeah, they deserve it. They can get into so. As long as somebody doesn't share it, that'd be that'd be uncool. But you know. All right. There's a Discord invite link for those of you that, uh, if you know nice. Narfzog, then you know why Woof. I don't know Narfzog. Nor I. Woof, it's like Sheba in Soul Ecosystem. But it's, okay, so it's actually a reflector. It's not an airdrop. So <laughs> we it's talked about the other day because. a higher upside than Samo, but I don't know how specifically. Well, if it's a reflector, that would be how because essentially it's it's you know freshness oh, yeah. yield like apex, yeah, like apex, well, uh, like good. any safe moon, et cetera, et cetera. So essentially, somebody did it on Woof, I would imagine. Um, but here's why I would say you know, maybe it has a higher upside. I don't know, but you posted that thing on Samo, like Samo to a dollar, and the market's wrong. And oh, Samo people. replied, and, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." No, go ahead. Yeah. That yeah, so Samo cool. replied and said, and yeah, it would be a million dollar airdrop if it does. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. That's super cool. You think that they don't want that pub? Hey, guys, if you get involved in crypto ecosystems like Solana early, you can get airdropped a million dollars. You think like, that's not going to make headlines? Quite literally a million dollars. Literally, you got airdropped a million Samo. And now it's a dollar, and that's a million dollars. So... You know, just keep that in mind, guys, that there's, think about narratives. I think that, so I only got like three, four minutes here, then I got to go. But mm-hmm. um, narratives matter on everything, including meme coins and the ecosystem in which they happen, right? So being able to say for Solana, to, it would make, it would make worldwide news. It would make worldwide news. And do you think that's not good for Solana? It would be very good. They're saying uh, Wolf is a Dex and future NFT marketplace. Well, then why did somebody say it was just like a Shib token? So it was, yeah, and it was also apparently Wolf was a Cope airdrop. Wait, do I have Wolf? <laughs> have uh, you got Cope? Yeah, but I don't know, guys. How do I know if I have Wolf? I, I should be in your wallet. Holy, wait, hold on. You got it? Is it Woofonomics? <laughs> Guys, is it Woofonomics or is that a different? I don't know. Don't prove anything. Coin <laughs> I don't see anybody reply. Wolf was airdropped. Baby like, is this, is this it? Because if yes, I, oh my gosh. Did you just get rich? No. Okay. Phew. I just had a mini <laughs> heart attack. I uh, I accidentally hit the lock button on my computer, and then I like to log back in, and it just had like. I don't think that'll show up on the stream. <laughs> I haven't seen I think, anything. I think the screen just got black for a second. Hmm. <laughs> Everyone might know who I am. Oh well. Maybe I won't. I mean, I literally. Won't make this uh, one replayable. <laughs> it was, it was so it just flashed for me and it was okay, like, no, it went I black. Think. The screen went black yeah. when my thing locked. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. All right. So that is the woof. So I have, I got airdrop 200,000 of this. All right. Which is, I mean, I don't think that's a crazy amount. Zero, no. zero, one, four. Oh, no, that's well, 280 bucks. 
Hey, man. Hey, Go out and have, have yourself a nice meal, you know? What's Soul Cats? I have that, too. What's what's Botto up to? That was like a $4,000 one. You got that, right? I don't even know. What? What's Botto? We didn't talk about this? I don't think so. Bro, yeah. I guarantee you have it. Really? 100%. I'm trying to find which meow I have. There's a meow in my wallet. Dude, I never look in this wallet because it just gets a bunch of random stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't want that. You anyway. Want that. But bro, Botto, B-O-T-T-O. You can get it on Chartax, you can get it a bunch of places. It was airdropped to people that hold like high dollar NFTs. Yeah. And I think you airdropped like 2,000 tokens and it's currently 250. It got all the way up to $4. Wait, in like Ethereum? On Ethereum, yeah. Let me check. I mean, I don't have that much super expensive NFT. Uh, your mutant would have qualified. It would. So okay. unless you sold your mutant. No, then... I got my mutant. Yeah. Uh, what's? Let me look at it on CoinGecko so I can add it to my MetaMask. What's it? What's it called? B O T T O. B O T T O. It's yeah, in the Bob. top one thousand. Yes, man. Because here's the thing: you had to hold a high dollar NFT uh-huh. uh, to get it. Just holding an, any NFT didn't do it. So when you drop. It, it, put it in airdrop into a bunch of rich people, uh, which again, not rich people, but like not people that necessarily needed it. You have to stake your bottle to be able to vote on new like AI art projects or something. It's nuts. Um, and so I just immediately staked mine and I'm like, okay, I'd like to participate in this uh, if I can. And yeah, that's it. It's sweet. You should, you should read about it, man. I'm, it's I'm it's badass. See, I'm trying to see if I have any bottle. I, I'm positive you do. You have to remember though, I think... How long ago uh, was it? I'm trying to think which wallet my... Uh... It airdropped on October 7th. Okay, so it might have been in this wallet. I was going to say, if you change wallets, then it might have, you know... Might be in an old one. one or... Right, yeah. yeah. Dude, is there like a website where you can plug in an address and you can see like every single airdrop you've gotten? Because sometimes yeah, I there feel is. like you just... Okay, cool. There is something like... Say. I don't remember what it is. I'm sure somebody in the chat would know though. There's a bunch of like check for airdrop sites and it, like you... It'll it'll tag you and be like, hey man, go claim this. You got money. Um, but yeah, it was like right. I think it was like eighteen hundred or two thousand bato, and you know that got up to four dollars. Right, that's crazy. So eight thousand dollar airdrop for for nothing. Okay, well I hope uh, I hope Wolf blows up because uh, I didn't even know I had any, but I guess I do. So go Wolf Good for you, man. I'm a big uh, I'm a Wolf Maxi now. <laughs> hey, why not? I got a Wolf. Exactly. I got to. Uh, all right, boys. Well, hey, uh, I appreciate you letting me come hang yeah. out. I got to go. Good Early having you on. Maybe. We'll uh, so. we'll talk soon. I'll I'll probably stay on for a bit longer. But uh, thank you for hanging out. Yeah, no, it was fun. Cheers, everybody. Let's enjoy. Uh, sold to three hundred uh, very soon. Sweet. Talk to you soon, man. <laughs> all right. Take care. Peace. All right. Now you guys are just stuck with me. No alpha. Watch the viewer count and just nuke. <laughs> it is kind of nice. It just went black. Okay, we're good. But yeah, I probably should change my... Uh... Maybe I should have a different user on my computer. Where I like log into that user when I stream. Where it's like I could do nothing on my computer to just like give up everything about my identity. <clears throat> So, um, I'm trying to catch up with some of the chat. What do you guys want to? Uh, what do you guys want to talk about? Hey, artificial irrelevance have been doing really good. I remember, like that was a that was one we talked about a while ago. These guys. For those of you that are into NFTs, I don't know if everyone is, but the floor was at like 0.6 and it has just been getting bought up. And let me see if they're on Solana floor because I'm pretty sure they've just been getting a ton more um, holders, a ton more. Yeah, here we go. So in the last week listings from 800 listings to right now 577 we were at 0.8 up to this says 1.8 but it's actually two right now and 
over a hundred new wallets. So the something's going on with the artificial irrelevance, and we like the art. It's pretty cool. Bottom is in, everything up. I like it, Davis. Well, yeah, so wave four was also two soul. But the first wave was like 0.2, the next 0.33, and 0.75, I think it was. So, I mean, a lot of people are up like three, four, five, six X on this. And because of those waves, I kind of thought there would be a lot of sell pressure. But just the fact that it's at the wave four price is pretty impressive, especially just given the state of NFTs right now. I mean, Pretty much any everything that is dropping or that's launching, the floor is just nuking. And so to see one go down and fight all the way back up to two soul is pretty impressive. And they just dropped uh, baby bots to any wave one minters. So if you minted in wave one, you got a baby bot. We like the geckos, bro. The geckos actually... Speaking of that, Solana floor. Their numbers have started to look really good as well. Like in the last week, we were at 3,100, over 100 new wallets in the last week. I'm pretty sure the floor is up to 14. This is usually a little delayed. Um, so yeah, seeing more holders coming into the geckos, that's good. And we've been seeing a lot of buys last few days. I think Sol NFTs could be could be turning things around, um, especially after those crazy buys today with Solana Monkey Business. And we've got some fun mints coming up that I've been uh, talking about. Um, I did not mint trolls. Those looked like, I was not a fan of the art, you know, to each their own, but I wasn't a fan of the art. You don't have any NFTs because you don't know how to select them and not get wrecked. What's the criteria? So. When it comes to NFTs, I try to look for things that are unique, like a unique idea, not just some knockoff of something else. I like to find something where the art looks good, like I like good. I mean, I want to like the art. Like if I hate how something looks, I probably won't buy it. And then community, what the community's like, and then also how active the developers um and how active the rest of the team is with the project. Yeah, geckos are going to go crazy. SMB is going to help a lot. Nifty Nanas, like, yeah, that's a good example. They have been absolutely nuked. I think they're at like a 0.15 soul floor. I mean, they were only at like 0.3 or whatever, or 0.4. So it's like they've always been pretty cheap, but yeah. Uh, I do agree that a bunch of NFTs are going to go to zero. But I don't think it'll just be, hey, nice, Morgan. That's awesome. The You should join the DAO. It's a pretty sweet community. Um, I think a ton of NFTs are going to go to zero. Um, but I don't think it's like just bored apes and punks or whatever that are going to stand the test of time. I think there will be, I think there will be a few, but you really... Like a lot of them will will fail. That's just kind of the reality of it. Like in a bull market and things like that, people feel like they have money to blow. And so they're just going to throw it at whatever NFTs are minting and look to make some money. But teams that like were in it just for a quick cash grab are not going to keep building the community and building out the idea throughout like an entire bear market or whatever just because, you know. Thoughts on David's Renaissance? I'm a big fan. I've been posting about them quite a bit. I know it's a fully doxxed artist. I know the team behind it. I've talked with them quite a bit. Uh, one of them is a pretty good friend of mine um, who, like, we, we text each other, we follow each other on Instagram, things like that. So I'd consider him, like, 
an actual friend, and he is one of the team members of the uh, of the project. So, um, like, I know they're not just going to mint and then disappear, you know. In other words, which NFT collections am I going to hold? It's a good question. And I think... Um, I mean, like, there's a lot of stuff that, like, okay, SMB, Solana Monkey Business, that's a long-term hold for me. Geckos, that's a long-term hold for me. Artificial Irrelevance, that's a long-term hold for me. And I would say Neo Nexus. Um, trying to think what else. I... I have one tower and I don't plan to sell like one tower room. I don't plan to sell that soon. Um, but yeah, I, I would say the main ones, geckos, salon and monkey business. Let me send a link to, so this is the, this is soul of David. They just launched their website today and it actually looks really good. Wrote some good stuff about it. Combines traditional drawing techniques with digital software to develop 8,888 unique collection of NFTs. Just as Michelangelo's first strike into marble ushered in the Renaissance, NFTs mark an important moment in art history, the clash between art ownership and internet culture. Our collection is a nod to one of the greats and is manifested through a digital collectible each minted david provides the holder with a unique floating bust of david certain davids will have rarer attributes than others with some even redeemable for physical artwork after the plague comes the renaissance this is a conversation about culture welcome to the digital renaissance so i think that's like brilliant it has some art history stuff some frequently asked questions but yeah i'll uh i'll send the link oh yeah i do like the uh the penguins are cute. I don't have one, but you guys have always been fun. The community seems fun. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Tripping Balls are launching. Tripping Balls, Plush Pandas, David's Renaissance. What do you consider long term? I'd say like over a year like through a market cycle like not just try and sell it in a, in the middle of this bull run or something like that I would consider that like more of a flip um, Gecko's in Lisbon this weekend anyone coming? yeah that'll be cool I won't be able to make it but I'll try and try and get to the next Gecko event um, I think that should be pretty cool and them doing stuff like that in person, I think is cool. Do you guys stake Sam on Orca and Double Dip? Um, is it Orca Swap? What are they? What are they paying? Maybe I should be staking my Samo. But is it like LPing where you have to match it with an equal amount of soul? Because that can be a little dangerous with like impermanent loss and stuff like that. It probably would have been a good question for Jared, to be honest. He's a, uh, he's kind of smarter than me when it comes to things like that. No, I don't know about soul gods, but as a rule of thumb, I haven't been loving projects that put soul or Solana in their name. Tulip has no matching. What is it, tulip swap or something like that? If it's just like you can dump your Samo in there and you don't have to worry about anything else, like staking or whatever you want to call it, then yeah, I think that's a good opportunity. It can get a little more 
complicated with other stuff. Yeah, it's 400%, but you got to... Here, I'm going to send you an article. You're like not making as much money if the token goes up. There you go. There's a good Investopedica, inve, bah, Investopedia article on impermanent loss. So before you get into LPing, I would make sure you understand that. Single staking is a different story. <laughs> Single staking good, LP bad. Kind of. I mean, you can still make money from it. There's just a, there's a lot more that goes into it. Um, did I buy a Solstead yet? No, I haven't. Are they? Uh, are they cool? I mean, I, that's not what I meant to say at all. What? What are they at now? Let me check. Floors 21. That's not too bad. Maybe I should get one. How is funding right now? Uh, that's a good question. Thank you, Jameson. Funding is elevated. It's not horrible. Like, th this is a bit high. Solsteads were super cheap at one point. Didn't they mint for 0.25? I watched them run up to like 100. Yeah, 21 is pretty cheap. They've, uh, they've pulled back quite a bit. Weren't they at like 40? Or Well, I mean, I think they got up to 100 at one point, but... Um, so yeah, funding is high, um, but like funding can stay high for a while, you know, I think the move is to wait for this and then get in Bitcoin. Like if we dipped all the way down to here, I think funding could also chill out. It doesn't have to, but let's see if I, uh, that's not what I want to do. BitMEX funding. Funding can stay elevated for a long period of time. This kind of the uh, the thing, and it can also stay negative for a long period of time. Oops, like this whole time right here, funding was negative. And just recently, like this is still pretty low in comparison to the bigger picture compared to over here. But then once again, we had crazy funding from December all the way to April. So <clears throat> I like I don't use funding as like a like a oh if it, if this next few hours like it's high. I'm going to close. Yeah, Solsteads are pretty cool. The floor was well over 60 at one point. I think you were right. Um, and I know, like, we saw NFTs dip across the board, but I thought Solsteads, like, bottomed out, so to speak, around, like, the 40s. But it looks like they came down for another leg. The tower, Tower Dow, is kind of implementing something similar I mean they basically show it I don't I don't like the art as much but if I go look at my room oh okay it doesn't even work cool really
Last chance. Okay. I was about to start fudding the tower. I'm just kidding. Here are my gex. But yeah, and that's kind of what... Um, that's what was cool about Soulsteads. I do think the Soulstead art is cooler, but the fact they're kind of adding this is kind of fun. You can look at your floor mates, see what NFTs they have. Why is no one else holding any? Oh, this guy's got a this guy's got a lot of shark teeth. Golden ticket holder. Anyway. Um yeah, I think that's the long trigger for Bitcoin for Soul. I mean, pretty much the same thing. I think if it flips to 16, you're going to want long exposure. I'm still long from here. And also a great example of uh, why you shouldn't try and tighten your stop loss too much. I know the old me would have put my stop loss right here because we had this sweep of those equal lows. And I'm like, all right, that's the low. The old me would have put the stop loss there. And I would have been stopped out. But these days, I uh, these days I've been well, not really just these days, but over time I've started using wider stop losses, and so that really saved me with this trade because I think my stop was here. Right now, it's like I've moved it up since then. But when I entered the trade, I don't remember where it was. Probably somewhere around here. Stop like there. Actually, it might have been at the bottom of this demand. I have it on a different chart layout. Anyway, uh, don't try and get too cute with your stop losses. That's my uh, that's my last uh, bit of advice for this stream. Because this is what happens. You have a stop loss too tight. Your trade starts going against you. You start panicking. You cut the trade. And then it just goes in the direction that you initially anticipated it going in or you have your stop loss too tight you get stopped out and then the trade goes in the direction you want it to when i have a proper stop loss trading is not really stressful not nearly as stressful as if i had a tight stop loss like i go to sleep comfortably i don't sleep well but that's for I don't think that's because of trades. I'm never really like stressed about a trade when I have a wide stop loss. That happens to you too, Annie. Yeah, whenever I like try and get too tight of a stop or like put a stop at a local low or something like that, I always end up regretting it. Um, so I think that's something that's definitely worth implementing if you are struggling with that and like like I was just saying if you get stressed out about your trades a lot your stops are probably too tight you're, either your stops are too tight or you're risking too much but those can kind of go hand in hand I mean maybe you do both I take a comfortable amount of risk usually between one and two percent it can kind of vary based on setup but usually between one and two percent and I very rarely have a stop loss within I don't know, I want to say like three to four percent. It's usually around three to four plus. Like, let's see if I was entering here in my stop. Yeah, so this was around a four percent stop loss. So, and that obviously changes. Like with Bitcoin, I'll have two percent stop losses every now and then. Like on, if you were longing this. Like I have nothing wrong with that for a stop loss, um, but like if if uh, if you longed this retest and had your stop loss at the low, you saw it rip, and as soon as it starts coming back, you would probably be sweating. So I I don't mess with that anymore. For a while on crypto Twitter, it was like cool to hit really high RR risk to reward trades. Like oh like you didn't make double digit R on that trade or like, oh, it's not even a six, seven, eight R trade, which was like so dumb that I kind of fell into that trap of wanting to look cool with hitting these awesome trades. 
when in reality, like ever since I've been a profitable trader, two to three R, sometimes one, 1. 1.5 to three R is like where I live. <laughs> if I'm risking 2%, and I hit a two R trade, that's a 4% gain on my portfolio. Like I'm thrilled, 4%, like that's that's awesome. Do that three times, you're up over 12%, because it, you know, compounds. So <clears throat> don't fall into the trap of trying to hit super high risk to reward trades and putting your stop loss way too tight. Um, but I think that is gonna, pretty much do it for me i hope you guys were able to join the discord if uh you saw that it's in the chat somewhere it should still be active and then once again shout out to the sponsors they're the reasons i can do all these streams completely for free um on a scheduled basis like i'm sure i would stream now and then if there were no sponsors but i can do them twice a week consistently uh thanks to the sponsors. So if you want to support the content, check out any of those links in the description. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, you could also like it. Kind of helps with the YouTube algo so other people can find the channel as well. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys had a good time. I'm going to watch the Detroit Pistons now. Maybe Cade Cunningham will drop a 20 bomb in his first game without restricted minutes. And uh, we'll talk soon. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. And I will see you on Thursday. Should be the next stream. Maybe I'll switch up the time so a different time zone can uh, get in. But... For now, I'm thinking around the same, around the same time, Thursday. So, also, I should probably bring in another guest. I know everyone wants me to stream with Rex Proof, so maybe I should do that soon. I'll text him about it. Let's go Red Wings. <laughs> Let's go Pistons. And uh, maybe Soul will hit three hundred dollars before next week's Tuesday stream. Go Bucks! All right, Jacob, we'll have a. We'll have a fun time watching that game. You guys can win. I just want Cade to play well. So <laughs> talk to you guys soon. Peace.